Now we are going to practice some sums. That is the first question is mixed practice. Let's see the sum. We are going to solve the problem. So the first question is 6488. I have written the question here. 6480 is divided by 8. Okay, that means here is a four digit and here is a single digit. So we are going to divide. Look at this sum. We are going to solve the problem. Okay, that's a mixed practice. Mixed practice. So we are going to solve the problem. 6480 is divided by 8. Okay, 6480 is divided by 8. So first you have to compare 1 stands 100. See, 6, 4, 8, 0. Okay, 6, 4, 8, 0. 1 stands 100, 1000. So, 4 digit is a single digit. Okay. So, now you just compare with 6 and what? 6 and 8. 6 is lesser than 8. So, that you know what? So, you have to go to the next digit. That is 4. That means 100 place value. What is the number 100 place value? 4. So, 64 you have to take. So, 64. So, in 64 uh, goes how many times? That is in 64, 8 goes how many times? That is 8, 8 is 64. So, you have to separate, they can get 0, so cancel the 0, after that you have to bring down 8 only. So, 8 and 8, so both are what equal. So, what you are going to do, you have to, in 8 goes how many times? In 8 times, in 8 tables, so this is 8, in 8, 8 goes how many times? In 8 tables, that is 8, 1s are 8. So, what you are going to do, so 8, 1s are 8, you have to write 8. You have to subtract, then you can get 0, cancel the 0. The remaining is only 1, 0. So, I have told you 0. I have told you already 0 as compared with 8. 0 is less than 8. So, 0 is divided by uh, any number. You can get as you can get the result as 0 as a quotient. Okay, I have told you. 0 is divided by any number. That means 0 is a numerator and 8 is a denominator. So, this is a dividend and this is a divisor. 0 is divided by 8 means you can get the result 0 as a quotient. That is what. So, this 0 is goes to the top. So, this is a quotient and this is a reminder. So, quotient is what? 8 Quotient is equal to 8, 1, 0 and reminder you can get what? 0. Reminder you can get what? Reminder you can get 0. So, you just uh, what? Check this method. So, check method you know that quotient into reminder plus divisor you can get what? That is quotient into reminder. Sorry. Quotient into divisor plus reminder you can get what? That is dividend. That is dividend. That you know that means dividend means nothing but is a question. So quotient is what? 810. 810 into what is the number? Divisor is 8. You have to multiply. Then add with reminder that is 0. So 818 into 8. 810. Not 810. That means 810. 0 that means 810 is multiplied by 8 8 0 0 1 8 are 8 and 8 8 are 64 the answer is 6000 6480 add with 0 you can get 6480 6480 this is the question you, you can get the question so you can get the question means whatever you find out this is the exact answer for the question that is quotient and reminder both are correct that's it okay we'll go for the next sum that is find the quotient and the reminder this is uh, find the quotient and reminder you this is a divisor and sorry this is a dividend and this is a divisor so you're going to what solve the problem then you can get the quotient and the reminder so for both sum you have to do the same okay now that is 720 is divided by 80. The first question, 720. First question, 720 is divided by 80. Okay. So, what you're going to do? That is, what you're going to do? First, you must odd 720 divided by 80. First, you have to, this is 1 stands 100. This is 3 digit and this is 2 digit number. So, uh, that is, Dividend is 3 digit number and divisor is a 2 digit number. You have to divide by 720. 720 is divided by 80. 
that means you can do this also even this 0 and this 0 you can cancel it and 72 is divided by 8 means how, how, how many time it goes you have to say the 8 table that is 8 9s are 72 8 1s are 8 8 2s are 16 8 3s are 24 8 4s are 32 8 5s are 40 8 6s are 48 8 7s are 56 8 8s are 64 8 um, 8 7s are 56 8 8 are 64 and 8 9s are 72 this is the answer you can get it okay so this is the answer is quotient is 9 otherwise you can do the regular method so i'll repeat once again 720 is divided by 80 720 is a dividend and 80 is a divisor you can cancel the zeros and 72 is divided by 8 because i cancel all the zeros so 72 you can do this also 72 is divided by 8 means you must say the 8th table 8 9s are 72 that is what i told you 8 1s are 8 8 2s are 16 8 3s are 24 8 4s are 32 8 5s are 40 8 6s are 48 8 7s are 56 8 8 are 64 8 9s are 72 that is what 8 9s are 72 8 9s are 72 that is 72 minus 72 you can get what 0 okay 72 minus 72 you can get 0 0 is the right answer for this question sorry uh, reminder is 0 quotient is what 9 so otherwise you can do this method you can do this method 720 80 so first you have to compare with 7 and 80 7 is less than 80 after that what 72 is less than 80 72 compare with 80 72 is also less than 80 so 720 is greater than 80 so now we are going to divide so 80 means you must take how many times 80 into 2 times first that is 2 now what is 200 80s are what 16 otherwise 80 into 510 is 500 8 5s are 40 okay multiply then 8 into 7 800 and 87 are 56 okay i'll go for uh, 8 9s are 9 into 0 0 and 8 9s are 72 so quotient is 9 and 720 minus 720 you can get 0 this is a quotient and this is a reminder okay this is this answer for this question is quotient is 9 and reminder is what 0 so this is a very simple method this is a what actual method this is the original method so i taught you both methods which is convenient for you you can choose that method and do it for your convenience to do that but it's only everything whatever i'm giving only for the practicing i'm i'm, I'm giving a lot of practice uh, especially in division okay next sum The second sum I'm going to do, second sum I'm going to solve, 624 is divided by 20. So, look at this sum, 624 is divided by 20. So, 624 is a what? Dividend and this is a divisor. So, what first you have to compare 6 is less than 20. So, you can't divide, you can take the next digit, 1 tens 100, this is 3 digit what? Dividend and 2 digit divisor. So it's all mixed together. So next one is what 62 is greater than 20. So uh, in 62, uh, in 62, 20 goes how many times? That is 120, 120, 20 are 20, 1 into 20 is equal to 20, 2 into 20, 40, 3 into 20, that is 60. Uh, that means three times it goes. That means 21s are 20, 22s are what? You can do it also. 20 into 2, you can get 40 because 20 into 1, you know that. That is 20, you know it very well. So, some students, we don't know the 20th table. So, you have to do like this. 20 into 3. So, two, uh, th uh, 3 into 0, 0 and uh, 2, 3 is 60. So, that is what written. So, in 62, 20 goes 3 times. 20, you have to use the 20, 20th table. If you don't know the table, you have to do the multiplication like this. Then you can get this answer. So, 60, so 62 minus 2, 2 minus 0, 2, you can get it. Then after you have to bring down the 4 here. So, 24 is what? 24 is what? Greater than 20. So, what you are going to do? So, 20 in 24, um, in, in 24, 20 goes how many times? It's only one time. 120 one are 20. The 20 ones are 20. 1 into 20, you can get 20. Or 20 ones are 20. Okay. And 
24 minus 24 minus 0 you can get 4 so it's a reminder and this is the word quotient so quotient is what is a quotient that is 31 and reminder you can get what 4 this is the exact answer but you have to verify the answer i've told you you have to use a check method so check that is check method quotient into what that is divisor within the bracket plus reminder you can get dividend that means question question you know that dividend dividend this is the exact uh, method so exact formula so what you're going to do quotient is what 31 31 that is uh, device sorry divisor sorry right exactly divisor is what 20 plus reminder you can get 40 sorry you reminder you can get 4 i'm sorry i'll repeat the formula question that is quotient into divisor plus reminder you can get dividend this is the exact formula so i'm going to apply the values here so quotient is 31 into divisor that means 20 plus reminder you can get 4 so i'm substituting the values in the particular formula so 31 into 20 so 31 into 20 so just i've told you very clearly just multiply only the numbers then you add the zero so 1 2 is a 2 3 2 is a 6 after that you have to add the 0 that means you can get 620 then you have to add the reminder that is 624 so 624 you can get this what question you got it so that means your answer is exactly right now I'm going to solve the last problem that means third problem in mixed practice these are all mixed practice because we we have we used a three digit number as a dividend and a single digit number as a divisor otherwise four digit number as a dividend and single digit number as a divisor otherwise three digit number as a dividend and two digit number as a divisor so it's all combined together that is what the heading is mixed practice next is solve second 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 problem second sorry second subdivision solve the first question is 845 is divided by 13 so 845 divided by 13 okay so this is a what dividend and this is a divisor so first you have to compare with 8 less less than 13 so you have to go to the next uh, digit that is this is one tens and this is 100 this is one sentence so now you have to take the what uh, that is that means tens place value 4 also you have to add it with this 84 is greater than 13 so in in 84 13 goes how many times you that you have to find out if you don't know the 13th table you have to do like this i have told you so 13 into 5 5 3 is a 15 carry 1 1 5 is a 5 5 plus 1 65 so it's very uh what less number so you can go for the next number 13 into 7 so look at this number 7 3, the 3 into uh, 7 21 this in the, otherwise 7 3 is a 21 1 carry over is 2 it is go to the top 1 7 the 7 7 plus 2 that means 9 that is 91 it is very greater number so you can't uh, use this number because you have to write the very very nearest to smallest value so what is the number so 13 into you have to use what 6 6 3 is 18 carry over is go to the top 1 6 is 6 6 plus 1 7 that means uh, 6 time it goes so 78 is the nearest and smallest value so you have to subtract 84 minus 78 4 is less than 8 so you can't subtract so you have to uh, borrow from uh, borrow from under under place so you have to borrow 110 from here so that is it becomes 14 and this is becomes 7 so 14 minus 8 you can get 6 after that you have to bring down the 5 year so 7 minus 7 you can get 0 so no need to consider now the number is 65 6 and 13 you, you first you have to compare next that means 6 is lesser than 13 so what you're going to do you have to bring down the next digit number that is one's place value 5 you have to bring down it is 65 is greater than 13 so how many time it goes in 65 13 goes how many time that is 5 time 65 already I have multiplied and showed to you so this is a reminder and this is a quotient okay the answer is what that means quotient is that is 65 reminder is what zero then you have to do what check as it is that is quotient into what is remind that is quotient into divisor plus reminder that means quotient was 65 and divisor you can get 13 
plus reminder you can get zero finally you can get the dividend that means the question so what you're going to do you have to multiply 65 into 13 you have to multiply that means first you have to multiply by one's place value 5 3 is a 15 carry uh, 15 carry over is go to the top in tens place value 6 3 is 18 18 plus 1 19 you know, then one's place you have to put zero and one five is a five and one six are six so now you add this 5, 9 plus 5, 14 carry over is go to the top and 6 plus 1, 7, 7 plus 1, 8. So 845. That means that, that means a question you can got it. That means that is a dividend. D I V I D E N D dividend you can get it. So whatever you find out, the quotient as well as the reminder, both are exactly right answer. Okay. I think you understand the problems very well. So you can go through the videos once or twice. Then you can easily understand the concept. Before that, you have to thorough in the table. Memorize the table. Memorize the table very thoroughly. So without table, you can't do the division. It's very difficult to, it's very difficult to do otherwise.